disappointing outcome, obviously, that we came, came in here and uh, thought we had the right mindset coming in. I mean, we need to play mistake-free football. Um, and we were unable to do that early in the game. Um, two turnovers right off the bat. Missed one field goal. They missed one field goal, made the other. So they're up three zip. But uh, I think that's the score at the end of the first quarter. But we're playing hard and making plays on defense. And, and we put together a couple drives. But in, in the end, when you look at the football game, we've got to play at our best, which I don't think that we did. Made some plays. We also had some missed opportunities and some mistakes. And then you also have to give them credit for the way that they played. I mean, they're a very explosive team. Um, Justin Fields, uh, you know, we got people covered and we can't quite get to him. And he snakes out of there and runs for 20 yards or 10 yards or five yards, whatever he needs to do. Uh, but he has some explosive plays. And, uh, and then Dobbins got loose on us. Uh, but uh, I think our guys played hard. I don't think we, we stopped playing hard. They're disappointing, but as I told our football team in the locker room, you know, we will always be defined in what we do next. And uh, we've got to rise back up as we move into this next week as we go to Wisconsin. And I think that's the that's the uh, the growth that we have to take from this. And there will be things that they'll see on the film where they'll say, could have been this, could have been that, could have stopped this. All good play by them. Drop the pass here, whatever the case. But uh, we have to keep pushing. Got a chance to cut it to. Uh, Two touchdowns, I think, in, in the third quarter. Missed the field goal. They got pressure right up the middle. Can't have pressure right up the middle, but maybe credit to uh, number two. I don't know, but uh, we'll have to take a look at that. I'll take some questions. Mark, from a physical and emotional standpoint, when a defense has two, three and outs and sees the offense turn the ball over, how, how do they respond to that? Well, I thought they responded well, to be honest with you. And I thought they came in there and, uh, uh, you know, we had one stop, but they missed it, and then we had another stop, where they kicked the field goal. So those are successful things, and I think that you 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 gain confidence after, after that. I think you should gain confidence after that. But uh, you know, getting scooped out of our gap or whatever it is, you know, there were a couple, there were too many explosive plays defensively when you look at it. And then I think we got tired in the fourth quarter in the second half. And we did some good things to try and get back into it, but um, you know, just you know, again, we had the field goal miss. Down there in the in the red zone, it's fourth and five. So I thought take the field goal, make it two scores rather than three scores. Um, but uh, had some different things go on prior to that field goal attempt. But I, you know, I don't think anybody plays a blame game in that locker room. We just keep pushing. Mark, you only gave up ten points in the first, third, and fourth quarter. What was, I mean, I know you haven't watched the film yet, but was there something in the second quarter that you felt was vastly different than the rest of the game defensively? Well, they hit the they hit the long one. I think it was what I think it was seventeen to ten, and they hit the long one uh, where they reviewed to see whether he was in or what. I mean, whether the ball was out or not. I don't know. Can't tell from that. But um, you know, the long coverage, something that we worked on, but something that didn't quite play out. They, they ran the route a little bit different than we than we anticipated, and uh, so it's a big play for them. The other one on twenty two's long run, we can't go for the punch on the ball and try and knock it out. We got to secure the tackle, play another play. But too many big plays, too many big plays, and uh, too many missed opportunities. You know, we get down there and we get a turnover. Even at the end of the game, we get a turnover and we throw it right back to him. But uh, I thought the work he played pretty well. Um, put the ball on the money, and he got some pressure into the second half. He started getting pressure when they knew that we were going to pass, and that was all. That was the bottom line. You know, that was it. I thought that uh, they turned it loose a little bit, as evidenced by the last series. Mark, how does uh, Justin Fields? Compared to other guys they've had, maybe a, a Braxton Miller type. Yeah. He, he seems to get well, I, I told Coach Day before the game, I said, well, I think your guy's a little bit like, uh, um, I don't know, Braxton Miller or, or um, JT Barrett. And then uh, it's like Haskins as well. So he's, he's equally a threat. I do think he took, you know, we had some things going on in the secondary where he didn't find his guy right away. But he extended the plays. I think mean, another great quarterback's going to extend plays. And he extended plays and hurt you with his arm, and then he also hurt you with his legs. So he's a dynamic player. When you had success against these guys at different times, what, what were you able to do defensively that you couldn't get done today? Well, I don't think we stopped the run. At the end of the day, we didn't stop the run effectively enough. They had too many explosive plays. And what we've been able to do when we have won is they haven't had quite the, the number of explosive plays. We've got to keep them in the, in the teens or the 20s. 
they're going to play well defensively as well. So, you know, but uh, you know, just got uh, too little, too late, I guess. Mark, Not enough late either. Mark, do you have any update on on Jacob Panashuk? Um, I don't know if you have anything yet. No, I don't have anything. On that. No. Mark, for a lot of years, this game up for your program, you've know, pointed to it. It's a, a late season game with a lot of stakes, and I think you said a measuring stick earlier this week. Dev in the middle of the year, and to come out on this end of it, um, are you concerned? I guess at the about the rebound, or how do you guys sort of navigate these waters? That, we're in the middle of the season. You have no, we're halfway through. We're four and two football team, and at the end of the day, that's what we are. We're four and two. And as I said earlier, we'll be defined on what we do next. We we'll go to Wisconsin, and that's our next challenge. And they're very good as well. So we've got to get our our, our mindset right, and got to uh, look at the film and say, okay, this could have happened. We could have done better here. Okay, hey, they made a play here, or whatever it is. But we've got to look at the whole thing in, in detail and say, okay, this is where we're at, and get ready to go. And I truly believe that you're defined by how you handle problems and how you handle your next challenge. So that's what we, regardless of whether we won this football game or lost it, that was going to be a challenge. Uh, what do you do next? Mark, I know uh, Matt's track record, Matt Cogman's track record is pretty good. Is there any point you start getting a little concerned with even his confidence or, or where he's at right now? No, I thought he got pressure. I mean, the guy's running, this guy ran right up the middle on him. Uh, so I'm going to stay with him. I think he's. He's shown he was, a, he was the first team all conference kicker last year, so we'll stay with him. Got to give him confidence, can't tear, they, tear him down. And then at, at that point in time, somebody else has to become the kicker. So nobody has proven themselves to that extent. So, uh, But we got to protect better. I mean, we had to run through twice. One time he made it, and one time he didn't. And we're trying to fix it. So we have to look at that and see what happened. Whether Mark. he was pulled out of the gap or what. When you see the, the, the trying to punch the ball out to wrap up a couple times, is that sort of? You've got a pretty mature defense usually, and the defensive tackle as well. Is that a sign of guys who understand they're maybe up against it of a level of speed and needing to feel desperate to make a big play? That no, I thought Josiah could have, could have hooked and swatted the guy. need to make the tackle first and then go for the strip. That's the way we teach it. Um, he just trying to make a play, you know. But, um, um, you know, he had the ability to run him down, so he ran him down. you got to make the tackle. you got to secure the tackle on that and make the snap the ball. And, uh, again, Jay, J.K. Robinson. He's a good running back. He's physical. Uh, he's durable. He's got speed. Somebody said he got a little slower when he went to 215. I didn't see that. So I guess that's not verified. Okay, so um, I'll cash that in as a rumor. Okay, but um, he's a good, good player. They got good players. And that's why we said, hey, this is a measure, measure again. You know, you got to measure up. When you come down here, you got to measure up. When they come up there, you got to measure up. We, you know, we've been in these games before. Close enough to have a chance to win them. Not so much today. Although first half we're hanging, you know we're hanging. We're making it interesting. It's just that uh, I thought the last two drives of the second quarter, you know, hurt us. We took it from uh, 17 to 10 to 27 to 10. Mark, you, I know you usually like to look back at the tape before looking at about the offensive line, but you only pretty much went with five guys today. Can you kind of talk a little bit about the, the genesis with that, with Blake out, why you only stuck with the five? Well, because we, we don't really want to burn a red shirt if the guy's going to play a couple plays. And, and really, we've got three freshmen, three true freshmen with the twos. Right now, as you guys know, we, we, have, you know, we have five offensive linemen out for this game. So, you know. We've got guys who started, so that's not an excuse. We've got guys who've been playing. They've started, and they probably would have been the guys starting anyway with the exception of one guy. Uh, but um, didn't want to burn a red shirt. And as we go forward, you know, if a guy's going to play 15 plays or 20 plays, you know, we'll do that. But I didn't want to put the guy in for a couple plays. And quite, quite honestly, I thought we were protecting pretty well. Um, we had time to throw the football, and then, it, and then when, it, when it became just a passing game, then it Things changed a little bit after the first step. We've got time for a couple more guys. Yeah. Mark, uh, uh, Joe had mentioned uh, on Tuesday that in the past couple of years they had thrown some stuff at you guys that they hadn't put on film. It's like uh, like they had some certain things saved up for you guys. I'm just curious, did you see a lot of that today that that was just sort of brand new? Um, and did that have anything to do with the second quarter? They, they ran the one where they, I don't, you know, the route that they hit that was looked at. That route they ran it a little bit different. But other than that, I wouldn't say they did anything completely different. You know, the inside and outside zone. The quarterback got loose and found a couple guys. Um, you know, so, but 
what hurt us was, you know, quarterback sprint down the sideline, the far sideline against us, and, uh, and him getting out of trouble a couple times and throwing it. Uh, and then, the, you know, I don't think we, we had him either miss a tackle or we're not in our gap on a couple of them because they were just inside or outside zone. You talk a little bit about um, the pressure you guys generated in those first couple drives, and you had fields on the move, and then it kind of went away a little bit. Yeah. Well, I think we got tired. It's tough to keep playing. You know, credit our guys, both offensively and defensively, we kept playing. And, uh, you know, we stayed, we tried to stay in the fight. But, um, you know, I think, like I said, I think we missed some tackles. I think maybe we were in the gap. Maybe we weren't. Maybe we got scooped out of it a little bit, but we missed some tackles and it got him into the second level. And he's a good running back. Right, so is Tate.